Any other questions? Come on. Okie dokie. All right, guys. So thank you all so much for your patience around um, all of these technological um, problems that I'm sure will persist for the rest of the semester because that's just kind of how this stuff goes. Um, so I, I really do appreciate your patience and, and I'm, I'm sorry for all of the headaches that this stuff causes you because I know there are, um, there are many. Um, for those of you who are in the afternoon class who haven't taken the quiz yet, um, I did post an announcement that shows you how to uh, submit your work after the fact. You guys are going to be seeing the submission comments probably through the entire lecture today. So, um, so yeah, so just be aware of that. There is direction on that on Canvas. Um, as soon as the uh, afternoon class has finished, I'll start grading them. Um, so if you guys have questions that you want to ask about the quiz, then I highly recommend that you tune in to Zoom around 10.05. Um, as soon as the quiz is closed, that's when I can start discussing it. I'm guessing for most of you that's the most frustrating thing because as soon as you're done taking a quiz, especially if you had issues or you didn't know how to do something, um, you're probably in full-blown uh, panic mode um, and I totally understand that and I sympathize, um, but I can't talk about it until it's finished. But what I can tell you guys is that I promise I'm always going to be reasonable about these um, circumstances, so you're kind of... Unfortunately, you guys are my beta on uh, on starting this this whole online um, quiz proctorio stuff. So um, so just be aware that I know that this is frustrating, um, and that I know that there are going to be hiccups at the beginning, right? So I'm always going to do what I think is most fair for the class. Um, so so just so you guys know that I'm. I'm, I'm not here to make your life harder, I promise. Um, if some things that I do accidentally do that, um, I apologize, but, um, but I'm always gonna be trying to make sure that I do my best to help you guys out. Um, so, back to the lectures. Uh, last class we were talking about um, dimensional analysis. So we're still in chapter one. And in case you guys have been looking to the uh, chapter one um, homework or the textbook, uh, you're probably confused because we went through a lot of stuff that wasn't in the textbook and then we started out at the end of chapter one and now we're kind of getting back into some of the basic definitional stuff from the beginning of the chapter. I personally feel like um, getting the math review out of the way early, so if you have any troubles, if you have any struggles with that, you can get, um, get your gears moving in that direction is more helpful. Um, so, so that's kind of how I, how I deal with that stuff. Um, but hopefully the stuff we'll talk about today will be a little bit more simple than what we've been talking about. So we have some basic definitions to get into today. So we have some chemistry relevant stuff. So what is an element? What is a molecule? What is a compound? Right, so we wanna talk about what these things are. Um, so I think, oh cool, you guys get to see my Instacart too, sorry. <laughs> Um, so the, uh, the elements, uh, I think you guys are all familiar with this term colloquially, right? We, we use this term, um, kind of synonymously with, um, whatever type of substance we're looking at. Um, so an element in a chemistry sense is any substance made, I'm going to have to erase these real quick, made of one type of atom. 
So, anybody want to clue me in on what an atom is? The smallest unit of matter. Yep, you got it. Absolutely, Lindsay. So, an atom is the smallest unit of matter that retains the properties properties of that substance. Guys, let me know if I end up going off the board accidentally. Um, okay, so then that kind of begs the question, if an atom is the smallest unit of matter that retains the properties of a substance, then what makes an element different than an atom? So looking at the definition of element, any substance made of one type of atom. So what does that imply about elements? Element has more than one atom? It can. It doesn't have to, but it can. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Yeah? Everybody picking up what I'm laying down there? So an atom is always just one of some... Oh, cool, my screen froze. There we go. Is always just uh, one of the units cool there we go um, it's always just one of the unit an element is uh, something that's composed of um, atoms but only one type of atom does that make sense kind of sort of cool we'll get into examples but just to give you a couple so if we were talking about, that's a bad example. If we're talking about um, helium, right? Helium as an element exists as an atom. Oxygen, the stuff we breathe, does not exist as an atom. It exists as a diatomic element. And we'll talk more about this later, right? So elements can be atoms, but not all, um, not all elements are atoms by themselves. Does that make sense? They can be hooked up with other atoms. Do you guys with me? Can, can you say that again? You said atoms always just have one of the units. And yes. And after that you said elements have, what was the second? So elements have um, all of the same atoms. So they're not made up of different flavors of atoms but they can be made up of more than one atom. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other questions about this? Am I making sense, guys? I can only see like four of your faces, if that. So if anybody's making confused faces in the background, I can't see you. We're cool, Z's? All right. Okay. And I'm going to erase here, guys. So we talked about atoms. We talked about elements. Now we're going to talk about molecules. Ryan replaced Ziploc sandwich bags. Pretty cool. Um, okay, so a molecule is any... combination of two or oops or more atoms okay stuck together So, can an element be a molecule? Yes. Yes, it can. Is everybody with me there? Yeah?
can all molecules be elements? Yes. No. No, 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 no. no. Right? So a molecule can ha must have two or more atoms stuck together, right? And if they happen to be the same flavor of atom, then they may be an element, right? But they don't have to be the same flavor, okay? So if we're talking about a compound, a compound is any uh, combination of two or more different atoms stuck together. Professor, so you're saying if if two molecules of two atoms are stuck together, then it can be an element if it's the same. But if it's two atoms that are stuck together that are different, it's not an element, but it's still a molecule. It, yes, correct. So if you have two different flavors of atoms stuck together, it's it's still a molecule, right? But now it's also a compound. Cool? Um, I'm trying to find... Guys, give me one second. I'm going to go grab a periodic table. Boy, we should talk about that.